let's say you want this entire async task in a function. So you pretty much want to do all of this but then function you don't want it to be within the Android layout. You want it to be maybe in the presenter or the interactor or something. You don't want to deal with it. You want it in a different function. So we can actually do that. We can actually create do operation function and put this whole entire thing in here. Now we can return the text results from that. That's really cool because we can actually do more with the text with other things. So with async, async is returnable. So we can actually return things from it. And I'll show you that when we do async and we do return, we'll actually get a deferred. And what we can do, where is it? And actually return async here. Change that to a string. Oh, wait, we have to do the. Uh, so we have. We're, we're just going to change this to a await. So it's a little easier to understand. So now we have a deferred string. How do we use this? Now we could just do do operation you know and that 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 runs the uh that gives us the async task but we're not actually using the async task and a um, a great way that i use is, is i use with launch whoops i don't even know what I did there there we go I use launch. Now, the difference between launch and async, async returns something. So if I change this to launch, it won't work. It, won't, it, um, it gives me unit, um, it doesn't return anything. So async gives you a returnable outcome. Launch just does whatever async task you want to do. It doesn't return anything. Um, it's pretty much something you do when it's not in a function. Uh, so for example, you have a, a on-click listener, you have a launch, and you have multiple functions with asynchronous tasks, you would do it that way. So, for example, you have, we would have our text equals, you know, uh, do operation. So we're actually going to change this to, you know, get network results and update UI. So it's doing two things. It's getting the network result and it's updating the UI. That's what it's doing. Maybe we we want to update the UI again with our text. Maybe we want to, you know, um, we call it nest it pretty much. And we can do that. You know, we can do that a second time. So now we have our get network results and update UI. And now we're updating the UI again for whatever reason. Uh, let's give it actually a, a valid reason, but... Uh, So maybe you you want a, a dot json at the, at the end of it you, you want to add some text at the end of it or something update it twice for whatever reason you want but uh more power to you if you want to update it twice uh but um so async is really meant for returning things i only use async when i'm returning things from a function that way um if i see an async i know it's returning something I, um i know it's through a function it's returning some, some type of result. Launch I only use when I just need the UI thread. That's the only thing I need. Um, and it's not really hard to, to change from a, a launch to an async. All you have to do is just change this to an async. And it's changed. You can change it whenever you want. It's just when you're reading over your class here, it's much easier to see, ooh, I see a launch. This doesn't really return anything, but it has some async tasks in here. It can do BG tasks as well. Uh, same thing. Uh, I think it was launch as if you have a launch, you probably have some nested async in there. So async like this, this would be like an async, a nested async of your launch. And an async would, would be, you know, again, something that has a returnable. So I'm returning the text in here. 
um, that's why I think of the difference between launch and async.